Hey everybody, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. I bid you welcome on this beautiful 62 degree mid-December day, 2020, almost over. Much, much to be happy about on that front. Um, but it's another outdoor kitchen analysis video. And this one I'm absolutely, absolutely stoked to talk about because even though all we did was um, uh, contribute the grill components um, to this build out, you know, I didn't, didn't do the island, didn't do the design, etc. I am so happy about the way this, th this thing came out absolutely just mind-blowingly well. And um, I also know that the guy who owns, who was, you know, the homeowner, is an, an insane cook. And I know that he is using this probably year-round. And the videos that he sends me of whatever he is concocting on his alfresco grill, the latest um, recipes, I mean, it, it's just insane. I don't think I've ever had a person use the outdoor products the way this guy does. So um, let's get to it. The build out is in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Yes, he um, did this on a roof deck and, um, uh, or I should say a rooftop. And he called me up and he was just like, hey, you know, um, I, uh, uh, I'm really into the Alfresco grill. I've seen your Senor Smoke videos. I think the Alfresco is definitely the culinary device for me for outdoors, but I don't want to go full hog with all these other Alfresco components. So what he ended up doing, he has two islands. He has the cooking island, and then behind it, he has a, um, basically a bar island, um, a high back bar where people can sit, they can eat, chit chat with him while he's cooking, doing his thing. Um, there are no under counter components on the seating island. So what he did was he, um, I believe from left to right, he's got Blaze, uh, dual trash recycle. Then he's got the Blaze, this is under counter. Then he's got the Blaze 39 inch door and draw combo, one of our most popular units. And then on the far right side for the refrigeration, he did a uh, line 24 inch outdoor um, UL approved outdoor refrigerator. Up top, he did an artisan side burner. I don't know why he chose that, but I think, I think it was honestly because of price. And then he moved to the 42 inch ALXC alfresco grill, which is where he does all of his damage. Um, the islands, he has a granite countertop. He um, built the island, I think, out of block, and then they, um, they veneered it with IPA wood. Okay, so IPA is um, pretty much not combustible, and it gives you, it's very, very, very popular in um, outdoor living projects. Um, it gives a more modern look to the build out. And when you take a look at what he did, between, you know, you have the stainless, then you've got the dark countertop, then you have the wood, and then he's got those cool light pendants hanging down. He's on a rooftop in Brooklyn. He can see the New York City skyline and he can see spires of, you know, Brooklyn churches and stuff like that. I mean, it is quite a setup. Another one of the reasons why I love this build out. I mean, it's, you know, it's just very different from a, uh, you know, a Westchester backyard. Um, this guy did not spare any thought or any, uh, you know, this guy really threw his all into this design. It took quite a while. Um, and then we were fortunate enough to actually grab the indoor component as well and do his, do his, do his indoor kitchen because um, uh, we had such a great time working together on the outdoor. But anyway, um, what do I love about this island? The aesthetics, the modern look, the use of the iPay, which I'll probably do on a, um, on a display in here. The fact that he chose the alfresco, which because of the, this, the heavy weight culinary, you know, ambitions that this guy has. I mean, I think he's actually started a TikTok uh, account now, Brooklyn Chef or something like that. Um, I mean, a constant, a constant stream of videos and pictures that he's sending me of what he's cooking. So the alfresco is the absolute best device for him. He's rocking the solid fuel insert. He's got the rotisserie going, uh, the, the steamer fryer insert. So I mean, a great choice on that front. Um, I love the fact that he also has the island in back of him with the high back bar. So he can have people close to him. They're not off to the side. They're right there. He can chit chat with folks while he's doing the cooking. It's more, it's a kind of like a social island 
um, and uh, just very just great execution. What I would have done differently is that I don't necessarily agree with the hodgepodge nature of the components. He has um, four different brands in what is not a very large island space. He's got Blaze under counter, he's got the Uline fridge, he's got the Alfresco, and then he has the Artisan side burner. I am not a fan of that Artisan side burner. They've actually come out with a new one, which is much better. This was the one that was countertop mounted and slightly angled. It didn't give out a lot of BTUs, and it also just, it's just not big enough. But again, if I remember correctly, uh, with all the money he was spending on the build out and all these other things, he wanted to conserve some cash, and that's the reason why he went with Artisan. I would have kept it more uniform, and what I would have done is probably had the Alfresco and just done Blaze completely underneath, done the Blaze fridge, um, and then just selected another side burner. But it is what it is. That's the only gripe I have, if you even want to call it that, on what is. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful build out for an incredibly great guy who is just knocking the shit out of this thing probably on a nightly basis. Um, if you have any questions about this build out, please hit me up, jonathanacurtos.com, questions at rofgrills.com. If you have questions about using that wood in your island build out, again, please contact me. Um, this is one of the more unique builds that we've been involved with, and um, it just makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. The urban outdoor kitchen rooftop looks awesome. My friend, happy cooking, keep it up. Thank you for the business, and to all of you, we hope to see you soon at the Ring of Fire. Thank you.